Hi, Dennis Bulldogs. It's Mrs. Johnson, and today we are going to read another little story out of this book right here. And today the story comes from somebody that you may know, um, Shaquille O'Neal, or Shaq. And um, this is just a little story about him growing up. It's pretty short, so if you aren't a basketball fan, bear with me because it's not all about basketball. It's just about his experience growing up and um, some things about him that may surprise you. So he titled this story, A Good Reason to Look Up. When I was in junior high school, which is middle school, what my friends thought of me was real important to me. During those years, I grew much taller than most of my peers. Being so tall made me feel uncomfortable. In order to keep the focus off of me and my unusual height, I went along with the crowd who would play practical jokes on other kids at school. Being one of the class clowns gave me a way to make sure that the jokes were directed at others and not at me. I would pull all kinds of pranks that were hurtful and sometimes even harmful to others. Once before gym class, my friends and I put Icy Hot in the gym shorts of one of the kids on the basketball team. Not only was he terribly embarrassed, but he also had to go to the school nurse's office. I thought it was going to be funny, but it ended up that no one thought it was, least of all my father. <clears throat> my parents didn't always think that my behavior was funny. They reminded me about the golden rule, to treat others as I would like to be treated. Have you ever heard that before? Many times I was disciplined for the hurtful way that I was treating others. What I was doing was hurting other kids and, in turn, hurting my reputation as someone to be looked up to. My friends were looking up to me because I was tall, but what did they see? My parents wanted, to be a, wanted me to be a leader who was a good example to others, to be a decent human being. They taught me to set my own goals and to do the best at everything that I set out to do. During the lectures I got from my father, he told me over and over again to be the leader that I was meant to be, to be a big man in my heart and actions, as well as in my body. I had to question myself whether or not it was important to be the kind of leader and person my father believed I was inside. I knew in my heart that he was right, so I tried my best to follow my father's advice. Once I focused on being the best that I could be at basketball, and became a leader in the game, I took my responsibility to set a good example more seriously. I sometimes have to stop and think before I act, and I make mistakes occasionally. Everyone is human. But I continue to look for opportunities where I can make a difference and to set a good example because of my father's advice. I now pass it on to you. Be a leader, Shaq, not a follower. Since people already have to look up to you, Give them a good reason to do so. So I thought that was a pretty cool story, and I never would have guessed, if you know anything about Shaq, I would never have guessed that he um, was teasing people and doing, um, I mean, I would almost say bullying uh, with the incident with the Icy Hot, and like that he, I don't know if he repeatedly um, picked on the same people over and over, but it does sound like it was um, heading that direction, if not already there. So there's a lot of good things in this story. And I think one thing is, is it, he was talking about that he was trying to play practical jokes on people before they can make fun of him for his height. So I would challenge you to think, are there, has there ever been a time where you've done that or um, made fun of someone or made a comment about someone else so people wouldn't focus on you or whatever your insecurity was? And um, I just think it's a, a really good, the golden rule is always a good um, gauge to decide if you're being kind, and that is to treat others like you would want to be treated. And are you doing that? And just like Shaq said at the end, too, we're all human and we're going to make mistakes. It's just that we're trying to be better. And that's the most important thing is that we're always trying to improve and always trying to be kinder to others. So I hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it as well. I like to read those stories every now and then because it's a nice break from just, you know, all the tips and information, which I really enjoy sharing, but just something different. So um, I hope that you have a wonderful week and I will talk to you later.